The Apache and the Leonardo AW249 are two advanced attack helicopters, each designed to dominate the battlefield with cutting-edge technology and firepower. In this comparison, we will explore the key features, capabilities, and differences between these two formidable helicopters, highlighting what makes each unique and effective in modern warfare. The Apache has built a strong reputation in military aviation, renowned for its robustness and lethal capabilities. In contrast, the Leonardo AW249, a newer contender, integrates cutting-edge technology to enhance performance and adaptability. Whether it's the Apache's battle-proven legacy or the AW249's innovative design, both helicopters represent significant advancements in military aviation technology. Both the Apache and the Leonardo AW249 accommodate two crew members, typically a pilot and a co-pilot or gunner. The Apache measures 58 feet, 17.73 meters in length while the AW249 is slightly shorter at 57 feet, 17.63 meters. The Apache stands at 12 feet, 3.87 meters, whereas the AW249 is taller at 14 feet, 4.26 meters. The Apache can take off with a maximum weight of 23,000 pounds, 10,433 kilograms, while the AW249's maximum takeoff weight is 18,298 pounds, 8,300 kilograms. The Apache is powered by two General Electric T700 GE 701 turboshaft engines, each producing 1,260 kilowatts. Whereas the AW249 uses two General Electric CT7-8E6 turboshaft engines, each generating 1,866 kilowatts. The Apache reaches a maximum speed of 158 knots, 293 kilometers per hour, while the AW249 can go up to 155 knots, 287 kilometers per hour. The Apache cruise speed slightly higher at 165 miles per hour, 265 kilometers per hour compared to the AW249s, which has 161 miles per hour, 259 kilometers per hour. The Apache has a range of 257 nautical miles, 476 kilometers. With the longbow radar mast, the AW249 offers a longer range of 430 nautical miles, 796 kilometers. Apache features a twin-engine design, robust airframe, and advanced avionics suit, tailored for all weather, day and night operations. It has been extensively deployed by the U.S. Army in various theaters of operation, including conflicts in Iraq, Afghanistan, and more recently, in anti-terrorism operations worldwide. The AW249 stands as a next-generation combat helicopter, engineered for optimal performance in today's complex battlefield environments, ensuring mission effectiveness under challenging conditions. The AW249 integrates state-of-the-art technologies, offering exceptional performance robust survivability, and cost-effective operations.
The Apache is renowned for its firepower, equipped with a 30mm M230 chain gun mounted under the nose, along with provisions, four Hellfire anti-tank missiles, and Hydra 70 rocket pods. This versatile armament suit enables the Apache to engage a wide range of ground targets effectively. AW249 is equipped with a versatile weapon system. This includes guided and unguided 70mm rockets, air-to-air -air infrared guided missiles, and air-to-ground radio frequency, or fiber optic guided missiles. Additionally, it is armed with a formidable 20mm three-barrel Gatling gun. The Apache stands as a cornerstone of the U.S. Army's attack helicopter fleet and is widely adopted by international defense forces. With over 1,280 aircraft in operation and accumulating more than 5 million flight hours. Continuing production of the AH-64E model is scheduled until at least 2028, ensuring its role as the world's primary attack helicopter. Well into the 2060s for the U.S. Army and allied nations, Boeing and the U.S. Army are committed to advancing next-generation technologies, with the Apache featuring modular open systems architecture. Since its inaugural flight in summer 2022, Leonardo has constructed four prototypes of the AW249. Current efforts focus on rigorous testing of two prototypes for performance, system integration, and payload capabilities. While the remaining two are scheduled to undergo testing soon, Leonardo anticipates finalizing a production contract shortly with deliveries to the Italian Army expected to commence by 2027. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.